Yeah. Right, should we put your shoes on? No. Should we go to the beach with no shoes then? What did you do? Alright, you put your own shoes on then. You're going to have to use two hands. There we go, can you put it on yourself? Oh, nearly. Oh, Daddy turn. <laughs> Was that hard? Yeah. Really hard. Was it? Yeah. Well, you don't need to worry about that because Daddy's here to do it for you. And do you know what Daddy's so good at? Working. Working? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say putting, I was going to say putting socks on. What are we going to do when we get to the beach? Scooter. Your scooter. Oh, you put your drink in the front. Yeah. That's good. Carry it, Daddy. Pardon? Carry it. Oh, you want me to carry it? Yeah. Of course you do. It's Is it? Yeah. What do we do before we leave the house? Spray. Spray. Exactly. Okay. I need to put some perfume on. Yeah. Do you want some? Yeah. Shh, shh. Yeah. Daddy needs keys. Daddy needs keys. Do you want to carry them for me? Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. What did you just say? Yeah, no mummy, just daddy. No mummy, just daddy. And then what did you say? Never mind. Never mind. Mummy's working today, isn't she? Yeah. She's got meetings. Hey, Sometimes when I'm like solo dadding it up like I am today. Let's go, daddy. Okay, yeah, we're going to go in a second. Can I just talk to the camera for one minute? Yeah. I like to ask Otty what she wants to do. And I love just hearing like what she comes up with. Like a second ago, I was like, what should we do? Should we go to the park? She was like, nah, we went this morning as well. So that's probably why she didn't want to go. I was like, should we go to the beach? And she was like, hmm, with my scooter. And I was like, oh, okay, we can take your scooter. So you just want to go to the beach with your scooter? She's like, yeah, okay, let's go. So we have got Oh, your scooter's in the boot. Yeah. Yeah, I just popped it in the boot. Don't worry, we have got it. So that's what we're planning on doing letting Otty come up with a plan and then seeing if by the time we get there it's still the plan that she wants to do because with a two-year-old you never know we'll probably end up getting to the beach and she'll be like nah not beach park daddy and I'll be like ah okay well let's take the beach for a little bit and then we can go to the park on the way home do you remember last time we went to the beach we took your scooter and then I carried it the whole time you didn't actually want to go on it once do you remember that do you think this time you're going to want to go on your scooter? Oh, we did get... Yeah, we, we did get a coffee, a juice and a cookie, you're right. Do you think you're going to want to go on your scooter this time or do you think you're going to want to just have me carry it? Carry it, yeah, sounds like that, doesn't it? Oh, there's the beach! There's the beach! High five, that was great. Yeah. That was good, isn't it? Do you want to go again? Yeah, that's fast. Go on then, go even faster. Can we pause for a second and just talk about how the fact that my daughter is just like casually riding her scooter at the beach? Oh, baby, baby. That is a bird, isn't it? Where's the time gone? Oh, we're going to hit the stones. Oh. Alright, Daddy, carry it now. So many. so many. Come on then, let's go throw some in the sea. Ooh -hoo. So this bit's a bit slidey. It's a bit slidey. Earlier on this morning, Otty said to me, I've got an amazing idea. I said, oh, what's your idea? She said, Daddy, take me to garden centre and get ice cream. Her little brain and imagination is like, just growing like crazy at the moment. And it is honestly so much fun. I feel like I constantly talk about it in the vlogs, but I just can't not 
this age is by far my favourite age so far. Lot is currently lining up shells on my legs. You're doing a great job, you know. Oh, you're giving up. <laughs> Show mummy how good you are. Watch you. Whoa. That's so good. Did you just say? Home now. Home now. <laughs> Zoe's literally just arrived. <laughs> home now. She's Are you going home? Yeah. Alright, see you later then. I see us. I see us too. Here yeah, in the window. In the window. Why is mummy slow? Baby and <laughs> Baby and dummy makes mummy a bit slow. I just want to take a minute or so to talk to you about BetterHelp, who are the paid advertiser of today's video. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I've been speaking to a therapist for like over six years now. I couldn't talk more positively about the experience that I've had and the benefits that I've found in my life in literally all areas, whether that's my personal life, relationships, work, parenting, everything. And also it's incredibly nice to be working with BetterHelp again because I can see every time that I do so. I can see in the comments and my DMs and messages that I get just how many of you are benefiting from BetterHelp. So BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy accessible because finding the right therapist can be incredibly hard. And BetterHelp is a platform that makes that process of finding the right therapist incredibly easy. And that's because it's online, it's remote, and by filling out a couple of questions, BetterHelp can match you with a credentialed therapist in as little as a couple of days. Now I've said this multiple times before, but my favorite thing about BetterHelp is the fact that you can communicate with your therapist via text, if you just feel comfortable via text messaging, or via audio call, if you just feel comfortable via audio call, or if you want to, which is what I do with my therapist, like a video call. So whatever you feel most comfortable with, you can make the choice. And also, it's just good to know that if you get matched with a therapist that you don't feel is right for you, you can change therapists at any given point and there is no additional charge. There are more than a thousand BetterHelp therapists in the UK at the moment that are currently readily available. And if you use my link, which I'll put on the screen here, but I'll also put it in the description below, betterhelp.com forward slash Alfie, you will get 10% off your first month's therapy. Again, thank you so much to BetterHelp for being the paid partner of this video and multiple videos so far this year. I'm literally all about bettering your future self and improving yourself and working on all the different areas and aspects of your life to be able to be the best version of yourself possible. And the fact that this can help so many of you watching this is literally everything. There is where I want to be. I just can't find a way how to get there. So when I was driving here, the route that I normally take to come on this, or well not this walk, the walk that I normally go on, had really bad traffic. And instead of just sitting in the traffic, I thought it would be, I thought it would be a good idea to take a little detour, take a little, what I thought was a shortcut down a different road that would hopefully connect to the other road and then I'd park up and walk to where I usually go. That definitely hasn't happened. And the beautiful, like, high up scenic walk that I usually go on, I can't get to because everything here is private, which I didn't really think about. So I guess my lesson from this walk, I thought it was going to be a nice little 45 minute hour 
shoot some little vlog clips. It's just sitting in the traffic. Sometimes you just got to sit in the traffic to get what you want. And taking the shortcut won't get you in the same place. It will just get you down some back alley of people's gardens. Did I also mention that the detour quicker route actually ended up also taking 15 minutes extra of driving because it was way longer than what I thought. And what I thought would be a nice little 45 minute walk turned out to be like 15 minutes because now I've got to head home. <laughs> I've just been having one of those days where it's like, is my life just one big to-do list? I feel like at the moment, all I'm doing is just ticking things off that need to get done prior to baby number two. And I hit the realization earlier that it's just not gonna be possible to get everything done in life because as soon as, and it's taken me 30 years to like fully grasp this, and I think it's fully hit me that like, even when all my to-do lists that I've currently got written get done, there's gonna be more to do. Life is a never-ending to-do list. So I just thought, I'm just gonna go for a lovely little walk. And don't get me wrong, it was a little walk, a very little walk, but I'm still glad I went on it. It was better than not going on the walk, you know? If I just spent that time at home ticking off the never-ending to-do list, the only outcome from doing that it's just more things that end up on the to-do list and there is more to life than attempting to tick off that to-do list. But don't get me wrong, I really want to tick off. I really want to finish. Deep down there is a little bit of me that is like, maybe I could just get everything done. Maybe there isn't, there's not, there is not, there is not an end. There never will be and you just got to accept that. take a second and just make a mutual agreement me and you right now we're going to ignore the fact that i popped this spot right in between my eyes this morning and now i just can't stop looking at it in the camera let's just pretend it's not there we're going to ignore it okay i am just sat here now planning some bits for a new vlog that's coming out in like two weeks time and i'm reading through the comments on my previous video so i thought it'd be the perfect time to sit down and answer a question from the previous video. And there was one up here. Where's it gone? I probably should have screenshotted it. Here we go. Mackenzie asks, what do you find the most challenging part of parenting? Oh, I wanted to answer this because I feel like there are a lot of you watching this that are either hoping one day to become parents or you're about to become parents or you've just had a child. So there's a lot of people that are like in this kind of position. And I just wanted to like drop a little, a little thing that I've been thinking about recently, which is the hardest part of parenting you think, or I did anyway, I assumed was gonna be the shift in lifestyle is massive. I can't like, Zoe and I can't just both go out in the evening together now because Otti's in bed. We need to arrange for like my mum or my dad or Zoe's mum or somebody to like be in the house if we wanted to both go out. Yeah, just so much of your day and your timings revolve around your child. And it should be like that. That's the right thing, I feel like. And then on the other hand, prior to being a dad, I thought maybe things like lack of sleep would be really challenging. Or cooking an extra meal every single meal time for your child. Or tidying up. Or those kind of things would be the most challenging. But what I've learned over the last two years is the most challenging thing by far. By literally like it's not even comparable to anything else and I totally didn't expect this, I didn't think about it enough, I don't think you can until you become a parent, is just how quick time goes. And it sounds so cliche, and it's easy to look at the calendar now and be like, whoa, it's October, how is it already October? It feels like we've only just started, like 2023 or something. But when you're visibly seeing your child change every single day, every single week, every single month, and like their personality evolving, the, the sentences and the things that they're coming out with, it is like having, I can't put it into words, like I can't explain it, of just how much I wanna 
fully enjoy every single moment, every single second, every single day, every single week. And I just want to like, even sitting here now on like a deep level, if I think about it, I'm like, I want to be at home just like soaking up any moment with Otti I possibly can. Like, I don't want to be sat here now. I want to just be at home playing with Otti. The thought of like, soon Otti's going to be going to school or when she's like 18, 19, she might just be like, yeah, I'm going to travel in for a year or like that. Yeah, that's definitely the most challenging part of being a parent is just enjoying the now so much. Like right now is my absolute favorite age of Otti. I can't explain just how much fun she is right now and that, that that's going to not change for the worse. Like it's not, it's not that I'm scared that things aren't going to be as good as she grows up, of course. It's just that they're going to be different. It's knowing that change is constant, but enjoying the now so much that... Yeah, I don't know. I can't explain it. I can't explain it. Yeah. The most challenging thing is just knowing that time is going so quickly. And obviously we're so incredibly lucky with the time that we've got with Otti and we can personally spend so much time with her because we both work ourselves and we've obviously got number two on the way, which we're so excited for and so lucky. But if we were to only have two children, everything we're about to experience with number two, it's weird calling the baby number two because obviously we don't know a name fully yet. I think, I think we maybe got a name, but anyways, could be the last ever time that we experience those things. So whatever I'm feeling now about wanting to soak up every second with Otty, I know I'm going to feel like next level with our next daughter because she might be the last time we ever experience those things. Oh man, I don't even like thinking of that. Yeah, that's the, that's the most challenging thing about being a parent is knowing that Time is going so fast, and it's just constantly. I mean, it's weird because it's so challenging, and like it makes me feel really weird, like emotional thinking about it now. But at the same time, it's all positive things, which is weird. Like, I'm loving it so much, and that's why it's so tough. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's yeah. It's all so positive, it's all so lovely. I just want it to. I don't know, it's weird because I was about to say I just want it to last forever, I just want to pause time. But then I don't because I enjoy seeing Otti grow up. It's just about soaking it up as much as you possibly can. It's just about making the most of every single moment whilst you're able to, whilst you can. And I think we're doing so. I think I'm doing so. I feel like I'm doing so. She's just so much fun. It's weird the thought that one day Otti might even watch this, me talking about it. And it feels so normal to talk to you about this, to say this like on the camera now, but it would be strange for me to watch videos of my parents when I was two talking about me like this, which I'm sure they thought the same thing. I hope they thought the same thing. <laughs> I wonder if Otti will ever watch this. Otti, if you're watching this in the future, I was about to say drop me a WhatsApp and let me know, but WhatsApp probably won't be a thing. Call me or pop over to the house or whatever. All right, I'm going to end off the vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, do all the nice things that you always do. If you've got any other questions that you want me to answer at the end of the next video, I'm going to answer one again, as I do every single week. Drop it down below. There's no right question. There's no wrong question. Be sure, as I said earlier, to go check out BetterHelp, and I'll see you very soon with another new video. Appreciate you watching.